Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, that sound early this morning may have been the sound of ice scrapers because, boy, it was a frosty start in most locations. And you can see those numbers from earlier on today. Numerous spots down into the teens earlier on, around 20 in Lancaster, 23 in Harrisburg for that observed low. 25 in Gettysburg was actually the uh, warmest number on the map for the observed low, with the lowest number being at the York Tomsville Airport uh, at 16 degrees earlier on. Now, as we look to the temps now, we have recovered. Now mainly above the freezing mark, although some areas close to that here as you had from uh, Lebanon just at just one degree shy of freezing and at that mark in uh, both York and in Lancaster below that farther north into around Lewistown to 28 degrees. Now again, we go to uh, our, uh, this is our Hershey sky cam, of course, uh, right now where we do have the filtered sunshine across the region. Satellite picture showing some of those high clouds beginning to work their way in from southwest to northeast. And as we go throughout the day today, we will continue to see those clouds increasing, getting thicker for us thanks to this weak upper level disturbance. Maybe a few flurries down to our south or maybe skirting along the uh, PA Maryland border. Otherwise, we are going to stay dry today. So just we'll call it increasing clouds seasonable with highs near 40 degrees tonight, dropping only down to the mid 20s thanks to mostly cloudy skies, which will keep that around overnight and yeah, not as cold as a result of that cloud cover. Staying cloudy tomorrow well, with some peaks of sunshine here and there, uh, but it will be rather cool. We'll only see those numbers climbing up to about the low 40s, slightly above average for this time of the year, but still cool uh, as you step outside. As we look to the lower 48, really there's two different pieces of energy we're keeping our eye on. It's really tough to pick out, uh, but we do have one upper level system that's beginning to develop and swing into the lower 48. A secondary system that will evolve down south of us. There's a little area of clouds and a few light showers. This will race up the coast as we go into Saturday. Could be a rain or snow shower with that on Saturday. And then on Sunday, the piece of upper level energy will swing through. So those are our two doses, two chances of uh, at least maybe a little dose of that wintry weather. But even then, it does not look like a big deal for us overall. Just increasing clouds the rest of today, staying mostly cloudy as we go into tomorrow. And then we'll zoom in here. And you can see by the time we hit later tomorrow evening, and especially on Saturday morning, we could get glanced with some of those rain and snow showers. Really not looking like much here at this point. Most of this is out of here from that uh, southern system by sunrise on Saturday, and then we go into Saturday afternoon. We may actually clear things out temporarily before then on Sunday. Again, we'll wait for another dose of a chance of uh, maybe a rain or snow shower for your groundhog day. So again, the weekend, lots of clouds. You can expect that, and even those rain or snow showers around at this point does a, doesn't look like it's going to cause many impacts at all. And then actually behind that storm system, instead of cooling down, which we typically <laughs> see in winter, we're actually going to do the opposite, heading up to the <laughs> 50s, maybe making a run to near 60 by the middle of next week. So, I mean, February is going to start pretty mild for us. This has been a different kind of winter. It has been very <laughs> slow to start, but February is our snowiest month historically, so long All way right. to go. Not over yet. Not over yet. <laughs> All right, thanks, Matt.